This is projectile motion topic five, where we're hitting a target from a moving launch. In class, we did an example where we rolled a ball off a table and tried to predict how far away from the table we should put the target or the cup. I just want to give you a slightly different version of to demonstrate that it's the exact same process. So if a plane is flying <coughs> at 500 meters per second forward, and it's 100 meters up, how far away should it let go of the bombs? Because the bombs aren't just going to fall straight down. They're going to fall at an angle because of the forward velocity that they already have. Now, the first thing that we need to know is, in order to find distance in the x, we take velocity in the x will tell us our distance forward if we know time. So we need to find time first, and then second, solve for distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these three formulas to help us solve for time. For example, I know this one's out. That will not help me solve for time at all. There's no time in that formula. So I have to pick one of the other two. Now I know that acceleration equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared. I know the velocity right out of the plane the velocity initial downward is actually zero, and that's key. The velocity initial is not 500 meters per second. That's your forward velocity. That velocity is constant, so we have an easy formula. This downward velocity is changing. It's accelerating, so we have to use one of the complicated ones. I cannot use this one because I don't know the final velocity. I don't know how fast it's going when it hits the ground. But I do know all of these. So I'm going to set this up as 100 equals 0 plus the velocity initial is 0, so this one doesn't matter, plus 1 half negative 9.8 times t squared. So 100 equals negative 9.8 and a half is negative 4.9 times t squared. This is technically negative 100 because it's downward distance, it's losing height. Divide both sides by negative 4.9. And we get... twenty point four. 20.4 equals t squared, so the last step is to square both sides. So it's going to fall for 4.5 seconds total. So it takes 4.5 seconds to hit the ground. Our last step is to take our velocities. Velocity in the x is 500 equals we don't know over 4.5 seconds. So it's going to travel this distance in 4.5 seconds if it's going 500 meters per second. So this is a multiplication. 500 times 4.5 22,500 22, meters. So the plane has to let go of its target when it's 22,500 meters away. It's at 100 meters up, going that fast. That's about two miles, I think. Oh no, that's a lot more than two miles. Anyway, uh, that's projectile motion five. There'll be sample problems posted online.